it's Barb coming to you from Craft Studio. I have a haul to share. Um, I'll probably be doing this in two segments. I'm going to share what I have now, which I got from Amazon and HSN. Amazon, on Prime Day, I found this. I wasn't planning on order this, these. I put them in a little container I had just to corral because they just came in a box. It's um, double-sided tape. There's three different sizes of it. It was 24 rolls for like $10. Now the rolls weren't as big as what I was thinking they might be because I was thinking they would be more like the other ones I bought. But there's still a lot of adhesive on there and it was, I think it was well worth the $10 here. Um, I think there's at least as much on here as there are on the Dollar Tree rolls. And for $1.25 I could get I get one so for ten dollars I could get eight and I got 25 here and in three different widths so I'm happy with that the other thing I bought was I've been wanting some more acrylic paint since I've been doing things for my tiered trays I found this set on HSN which was like um it was right around 25 But there's 48 bottles in here, so I didn't think that was too bad. That works out to a little over 50 cents a bottle, I think. There's Brilliant Red. Red, red Bean Gray. <laughs> I, I love my color names. Light Yellow. You know, that looks kind of dark to me that they call it Light Yellow. Pearl Purple. That one I like. Um... Pearl Wine Red, Azo Vermilion, I may not have pronounced that right, it's A-Z-O Vermilion, Rose Matter, let's do it this way because you can see the colors better, um, and I can read the color then too, Monstrail Cerulean, I might have butchered that, but that's okay. Um, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, ochre, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, ochre, I, I want to say ochre, but I don't know if that's right, um, monastrail green, silver, there's one I like, emerald green, viridian, Burnt Sienna, Naples Yellow, Neutral Gray, Medium Yellow, it looks kind of orange in the bottle to me, but we'll see. Carmine, I'm not sure how well it will work because the lids are black, but usually I put a little dot of color on the lids. That way I can see what color the paint is. Well, I'll have to try it and see. Maybe I'll put a label, a little round label there and then paint the label. That way it shows. Fahalo Blue. Sap Green. Blue Gray. Gray. Orange gray, it's about halfway through here. Violet, magenta, hooker's green deep, red ochre. They call that turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> no, just no. Turquoise leans more towards blue, in my opinion. Um, it most definitely is not that green. <laughs> Orange. Cobalt blue. Flesh. Brilliant red. Yellow deep. Gold, 
Carmine Rose, light purple, rose gray, looks kind of purple to me, maybe it looks different on the actual surface, Terra Verte, Verte, P-E-R-T-E, -E, Verte, Lamp Black, Titanium White, Purple, Pearl Sapphire, Pearl Yellow, I think it says Mid, I think it says M-I-D. First I thought it said mild, but I looked again, I think it says mid. Payne's Gray, P-A-Y-N-E-S, I could be pronouncing that wrong. Raw Umber, Dark Purple, and Cream. So those are my Hopefully I have a nice assortment there, so when I start my fall projects, I've got enough colors. I knew I needed more colors before I could even start on the fall one. I would love to go back and try to... I know they have some of them on um, HSN that were the part of the auto ship of the Ultimate Verse Compendium. This was one of them. This was called the Female Family and Friends. Now there's a few on here that I don't think I can use, but this one says, With Loved by Wonderful Auntie. You know, if you cut off Auntie, you could put in your own little thing if you had little, little stamps to create your own. But I do have aunts, so Fabulous Granddaughter. See, I don't have a granddaughter. <laughs> With Love, Grandma. That one I think I could um, easily cut off the Grandma and just use the With Love. Of all the moms in the world, I'm so glad you're mine. Special birthday wishes, grandmother. That's another one I think I could cut the grandmother off and just have special birthday wishes, which would work for anyone. Um, side by side or miles apart, sisters are always connected at heart. I like that one. To a special daughter with love. Grandma, you're the bee's knees. You are like a sister to me. Now that could be used for any, if you have close friends. I don't really have a lot of close friends. I don't have any close friends, let's be honest. Um, not in real life. <laughs> the ones I have are virtual. <laughs> Birthday girl for a very special grandma and best mom ever. But so you got the stamp set. There's there's a few for this set, and there's a few that are that came, that were for the they called it the Christmas verse compendium, but. The auto ships are more other seasons. I'd like to try to slowly pick those up, but I'd also like to get the um, some of the different um, materials that they have for the printmaker, which should be arriving today. I'm excited about that one, I, but it's been on my wish list since it came out. Um, and the ones. I like the ones on HSN because they come with image sets that aren't available anywhere else, at least so far, and I think you do get those forever. I don't think it's just a temporary thing. I think they're just part of the bundle. This is the vellum inserts, the small ones. They have these in the A2 and the 5x7, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. There's another one here, so I probably won't open the second one, but this can give you that. Ideal. They come in different colors. I love the box that these came in, but I'm thinking they're really not practical for getting into, and I tend to forget I have them. So I'm thinking maybe I can find, try to find another use for that box because I do love the box. And maybe get a Tiffany Fab file and put my the inserts in. This is that size and this is the other vellum inserts. They're they're the same, just different sizes. I'll open the big one. Up. The foiled inserts, now those ones were foiled too, but they were foiled on vellum, whereas these ones are foiled on more like just regular, just paper, I guess, a pa more of a paper weight. And again, they come in the 
a couple different colors, the purple and the gray. But that's it. Or so like envelope seals came with a sheet of those and that was for the stamp I, I was trying not to spend too much because I'm trying to save for my shelving so I didn't want to spend too much of my cash because I'm hoping to make a stop tomorrow and buy some another piece of it but I did buy some of the yarn they had a few other colors I would have liked but I bought three and I thought I better not buy any more so I bought the beige and kind of the burnt orange. I'm not sure what color they, do they have the colors on here? They call it, they call this one amber and they call this one linen. And I didn't have any red because when I was doing my um, watermelon bead strand I wanted red and I didn't have any so I used this multicolor one I had and well, I didn't really like it for it didn't really fit in with my watermelon theme, <laughs> but I went ahead and used it because I just needed some. So I want to make sure I pick up a, a variety of colors of yarn for making tassels. And then I picked up these tire lilies. Hopefully this is enough. I picked up one of each color. I'm actually going to remove the flowers from the thing. Possibly the greenery too and put them in the big vase that I have. I just want to fill it with different things for each kind of each month because I try to change out my decor every month. Um, this month will stay a little bit longer because it, it has my summer themed. I switch to that like the middle of the July normally and I leave it till the end of August and I switch to fall. So I got to find something fall related. And then they had some nice t-shirts for $1.25. They're gilded shirts and they're polyester, 100% polyester. But I really liked them, even without anything on them. I just, I just thought the colors were pretty. I kind of like that speckled effect. <laughs> that one was purple. And this one's kind of a burgundy type color. One's a medium, and this one's a large, and the purple one was a medium. I'm hoping the medium will fit, but I figured for $1.25, I was going to try it. Um, this is where I say some of it's crafty, some of it's not. Um, when I was at Meijer, I noticed they had this printer ink on clearance. And I'm like, I think that's the one that goes in my can 12x12 12 12 printer. So I'm calling up the internet and trying to find my printer and see which and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm positive this is it they were down to $12.59 for the four pack this includes the three colors and one of the blacks my printer takes five cartridges it takes two different two black ones and then the other black one they had a, on clearance as well and it was $5.99 I think it was if they have any of this left when I go next time, which I think I cleared the colored ones out, but I think there were a few more black ones. But I figured, I don't I don't think I go through the black quite as quick as I go through the other ones. So I went with, I did that. Um, I did find these gems. I really liked the shape of these ones. I was mainly looking for a green and red when I was going through them because I use these a lot on my Christmas card that I'm working on, but I really like the shape of that purple one and I like the purple. And this is kind of a turquoise color and you know I'm gonna pick that up. <laughs> and then this one, I think on camera I'm probably gonna almost look pink, but they are red. So I picked up two packs of the red. And then they had the, the fruit pixie rolls in stock this week. I think they were buy one get one half price, so I went ahead and bought two. Um, these will last me I think a bag lasts me close to two weeks if I'm up here every day if I'm not up here every day they last even longer but um, I might when they're in stock just pick up a couple because um, 
they tend to when they go out of stock they don't restock them for quite a while I think it's just supply chain issues and then at Target I wanted the gray ones because that's what I was buying I wanted, I wanted this I wanted this color but they didn't have this size in this color and a few of our um I'm using it to organize my cat food and one of the things that she gets as she gets fed several times a day but she's um she has hyper a hyperthyroid so she's way underweight so we're going ahead and feeding her more often through the day so hopefully she can gain some of that weight back because she's way too skinny um <laughs> and i needed some bigger ones to hold the flavors that we have there's a couple flavors that we have a lot of and then there's um she likes the friskies petites and they're too wide for this container so I needed some of this container for that I might need a few more of that size but I just bought the two for now if they get the gray in stock I'll buy the gray and then I found some stuff in the bullseye playground they had a lot of the fall stuff in today which they didn't have all of the pumpkins I've seen people sharing but they're starting to get it in I should say they had a lot of the sign type things so I bought this one because I, the shape kind of reminds me of a barn. It says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. So I like that one. It might be too big for my three-tiered tray because my tray is not that big. But if it'll fit on there, it'll go on there. Otherwise, I'll probably sit it next to it. And this one will be probably for Thanksgiving because the gather together makes me think more of Thanksgiving. If they're, I need to test them out down there because if they're a size that works, I might pick up a few more and I can turn this way and I can maybe paint, even paint them and then cut something in vinyl for other seasons. Like I think this would be kind of cute to make up, maybe try to make a spider web out of vinyl and put on there and just make it kind of like a haunted house or whatever, or even just a hollow, paint it black or orange and put a Halloween saying on it but it depends whether it's too big otherwise this one is a definite possibility if I I think they only have the one today but I like this this size house is probably perfect for my um three-tiered tray so um if I see more of these I might do that and just paint try, try to paint over them I'm not sure I might have to look for a small paint can of primer and paint them with that and then paint them whatever color I want. I should see if we have any or if we don't have any I should check my father-in-law's workshop because he's not going to use that stuff so if he has some I should abdicate it. I did like this one that said hello fall and I can even live with the colors. The green's not my favorite but I do like the kind of they have a lot of um items that are kind of a teal color they had this tr wooden tray it was it looked wooden it was kind of a teal more teal than turquoise and I really liked it but I did not buy it I think it was five dollars it's possible down the road I might buy that if it's left because I just I really liked it this side says get it while it's hot I bought it for the other side but I think I love fall most of all I was looking for at Dollar Tree like their Jenga type blocks. I should have went to um, Five Below today because I need to get a couple of at least one of their um, yoga mats. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name of them. They sometimes they things just leave my head. I use those. I cut them in half and I use them under, our, under the cat's litter boxes and we need to replace some of them. The one downstairs, for some reason, she keeps missing the box, and I don't know. I'm wondering if it got set too far back and it was too close to the tub. It needs to be set out just a little bit further, and that's what was causing her to miss. I really like this one. This one is only one-sided, and this one would go on my Thanksgiving tray. It says, eat together, live thankfully, gather often. These are where I want to put... I want to glue one of those Jenga blocks to the back so it'll stand up on its own. 
I seen somebody else doing that in a video and I thought, well, that's good, cool. Especially these little signs are only a buck. They're perfect for a three tiered tray if you can get them, especially if you can get them where they stand up on their own. So we've got to go out tomorrow because hubby has a um, medical test. I'm thinking I'm going to try to stop at the place where I buy the shelves and buy one of those. Maybe I'll try to see if I can get them to stop at another Dollar Tree. This one, honestly, I like both sides. I probably should have bought two of them. It says fresh hot cider on that side. But I more bought it for this one that says fall, leaves, apples, pumpkins, flannels, cider, football, bonfires, hot cocoa, and hay rides. I just, I like that one. I kind of wish that they'd painted the back a color, but I can live with it, the natural look, it's fine. But I really liked that one. So I'm looking and I'm thinking I like that side too. So I may have to pick up a second one of that one because I would use both of them on fall. So this one is another one that possibly, it says gather on one side and then it says thankful, grateful, and blessed. But I do have the other sign that says gather together, so maybe not. But, you know, for a buck. I'm hoping I don't like, oh, no. This one, I do like both sides. This sign says the autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Again, just like the little barn shaped one does, so I wouldn't use that size. I would use this side, which says pumpkin pie, baked fresh daily. <coughs> which this one I actually think I would use on Thanksgiving my Thanksgiving tray because pumpkin pie I think of Thanksgiving yeah it could be fall too and then I found this little gnome little wooden gnome and I just thought he was cute I'm wondering now I'm sure you could do it but could I do it if you could get that to cover in white and to a different little cut out something in vinyl and put there like something Christmassy, maybe a heart, use them for different holidays. So his colors are very much fall, so probably not. I'd probably leave them because I'm not a good enough painter to repaint that whole thing. I guess I could get one and try it because they are only a dollar, you know, so I could try it. But I like him. He will he will sit very nicely on the table. And then I bought another one of these for my refrigerator. Right now we're getting four meals a week from every plate. And I want to use some of the stuff up in our freezer. But I'm thinking once I do when I get that down, I'll not use everything, but get it down less than it is now. Because right now it's kind of like this. You can't add anything else to it. Um, um, I think I'm going to go up to five meals. I'm loving not planning. Um, well, this week I spent a lot at the grocery store, but I did buy all of that ink. So, and we had to buy a few other things there that we don't normally, that I don't normally buy. I bought a few, um, some vitamins and things like that, that I don't have to typically buy. That I think is where a lot of our money that we're going, we're going to the grocery store is going to health needs, but I gotta buy them. Um, I'm on several supplements that the <laughs> doctors want me to take. So, I'm really just kind of scratchy throat today. But that, oh, I have one more thing to share. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. My, H my other HSN order came. I ordered, the box is empty, but I want to show the box. I ordered the We Are Memory Keepers printmaker. I played with it last night. I was thinking about doing a video, but I realized I need the app that's on my iPad, and I film with my iPad, so I really can't film myself using it because <laughs> I need the iPad for both things. So, but it came with the printer. Right now, I am using the um, Leanne bag from Total Tiffany to throw everything that came with it. Right now, it fits. I know it won't fit. I ordered one of the 12 by 12 guides. The 12, um, or not 12 by 12, 12 inch guides. This is the printmaker. So it came with the printmaker. And of course the charging cable. Came with the, and when I put that code in at first, I'm like, nothing happened. 
So I did it again. It's, and it, 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 both times it gave me an error message saying this code is, no, is not valid or whatever. I'm like, oh, well, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to give me a year of the subscription. And then when I went over and I looked at in the store part of the app, I'm like, I re nothing shows a price anymore. So the code did work. It just told me it didn't. So if you have that problem with your printmaker, it says the code didn't work. Go into the store part in the app and see if anything has prices anymore. If it doesn't, the code worked. Even though it said it didn't. And then it came with the washi and ribbon guides. The little, um, like the ink screen cleaner, which you can see I clean, I did. You're supposed to clean it the first time you use it, and I did that. It came with extra pads for that. And it came with the six inch alignment guide. 